Good afternoon, I'm Gio Insignares. Here's a look at the stories making news on this Thursday. First, a big celebration for South Florida sports. Fans very excited with the Florida Panthers now going to the Stanley Cup final. Cats completing a sweep of the Carolina Hurricanes last night. It's the first time the Florida Panthers have swept a playoff series in franchise history, securing their spot in the final for the first time since 1996. And the Miami Heat are up in Boston right now as they get ready to take on the Celtics in Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Heat are just one win away from the NBA Finals. And the Heat took the floor at TD Garden in Boston for the morning shoot around. But the Heat focused on stealing another win in Beantown because they do not want to come back to Miami for what would be a pivotal game six here on Saturday. Keep in mind, the Heat will be facing off tonight with without one of their key players. Guard Gabe Vincent is out tonight with an ankle injury. Tip off for tonight's game is set for 830. And remember to keep it on Local 10 News for all of your playoff fever highlights. Clay has been with the Panthers. Will is up in Boston with the Heat every step of the way. Governor Ron DeSantis signing a bill named for a South Florida boy killed in a tragic murder-suicide two years ago. Grayson's Law is named for Grayson Kessler. The little boy was just four years old when his father, John Stacy, killed his son and then himself back in 2021. Ever since, Grayson's mother, Allie, has been tirelessly working to ensure no other family has to endure that kind of pain. The new law will make it easier for a judge to remove a child from a parent or guardian if there are concerns about threats or abuse, not only to the child, but to the other parent. The measure officially goes into effect on July 1st. Now, don't forget, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.